Okay, let me remove remove this, remove this application, and there we go. And let me switch back to my previous company file. Okay. Okay, let me just check my chart of accounts. Yes, this is the one I was using earlier. Okay, uh, going back. I'm going to have to create the QWC file again. And let me just launch that and accept the certificate. There it is. Put a check mark on that. And let's say we'll make it auto run. Every password there. And let, that was the same password, by the way, that you enter here. And same username. So this can be anything you want, um, as long as it matches what's here. Let me change the. Well, my computer is running a bit slow because of the video recorder. Um, let me change this to 15. And password let's save that password okay and first thing I want to do is recheck all accounts because this is a new company file so let me just manually update connected what's happening now is it's sending the chart of accounts in QuickBooks to WooCommerce So that I can select the correct accounts to affect. Okay, there we go. And then just refresh this. Okay, um, so my income account should be merchandise sales. My COGS account should be COGS. Bank of America for my deposit. Um, asset account will be inventory in hand. Accounts receivable AR and expense account. Um, shipping expense. Or there anything there um, post orders yes I want to post my orders and I'll list them as a sales order um, I'll create auto create the invoices and payments and I want the order to send to QuickBooks when it's completed um, because I'm using QuickBooks as a recording software not as you know recording the transactions and I only want to submit fulfilled orders so it's when they're completed um, and that will post in the chart of accounts and everything here. Um, let me just select direct bank transfer. Let's just say like EFT, check payment, check. Cash is cash. Credit card will be Visa. Um, PayPal, let's just say e check. Um, Virginia tax account for no tax and let's just say let's just give tax and non-tax appropriately as you can see there are no taxes I set up in WooCommerce uh, in shipping in should be for shipping charges so I'll just put shipping charges and let's just save that okay so you save all the accounts they should post correct if we didn't do anything wrong um, and what I need to do next is to make sure that I have the item list in QuickBooks. So this is the only thing you need to manually do in QuickBooks is you need to make sure the item list here corresponds to the product list in WooCommerce. Um, and the SKU should match the item name in QuickBooks. So what I did, I have an Excel file over here with all the items. So let's just add multiple entries to, I'm not tracking inventory yet, but I want to. And let me turn that on real quick. Um, okay. Let me go back 
to adding the inventory items. There we go, inventory parts. Um, let's just paste these SKUs. What was that? Let's just paste these SKUs. Yes, I know that. Um, I want description here, so let me just customize and add the descriptions both for purchases and sales. I'll just make them the same. Okay, um, purchase description and sales description uh, will, so that they will appear on invoices and purchase requests properly. Um, I'll just do this in a hurry so I won't fill in everything. But the price should be there. Uh, what was I? Like so. The, oh, I'm not using that anymore. Um, income account or merchandise sales. So let me just copy that here. I'm using a different company file. Sales, um, your order point, and um, put in some quantity for. I put, well, I put quantity in the WooCommerce file for these. Oops, zero. Don't enter that. Oh, oh, yeah, that was quantity on hand. 5, 5, and 10. Let me just double check here. Um, 5, 5, 10. Okay, everything else I actually didn't. Um, enable inventory but for those three. Let me save those changes. 40 items have been added. Okay. Now, let me go back to my instructions. As it says, SKU should match the item name and number, item name slash number. And if they don't, if you change one of the two, then the link will be broken for that product. Okay, um, now let's go ahead and send orders. So first of all, let me go to QuickBooks. I just want to make sure all my products are there. Let me validate them and manually update the QuickBooks connector. This will take a while because it has to validate every single item in WooCommerce. Let me just cut the video and play it back when it's done. What is that? Oops. Let me just stop here. Oh, didn't want me to stop. Yes.